What we're going to do is solder a joint against a wall here. Um, what we need for the job, obviously a blowtorch, flux and solder fit in. Um, obviously we're going to have to clean the pipe. We're going to use steel wool, a mat, a damp rag to wipe it with, but most important, PPE, make sure we wear safety goggles. Okay, just in case we do have some problem with solder spitting back into your eyes, only get one pair of eyes. Firstly, we put the uh, heat mat against the wall. Uh, make sure when you put this on that we have the clean side against the nicely decorated wall. We don't want to leave dirty flux marks on a customer's wall. Okay. Then we're going to use our steel wall. We have deburred the pipe. Um, just make sure there's no ridges inside there. When we cut the pipe, we make sure it's deburred. We're just going to clean up the pipe now. Get rid of the patina. Then taking the flux brush, we only need a very small amount of flux going around the pipe. And it's just the depth that the pipe's going to go into the fitting. Um, we don't need too much flux. Make sure both pipes are flux. It goes all the way around. And taking our elbow, put it onto the pipe. Pipe in position. Make sure it's gone right the way into the fitting. And just make sure it's nice and square before we solder. Um, I always use a, a rag or a dust sheet. If you work in a customer's house, you will obviously have a dust sheet or something just to protect the carpet and the floor. Should any flux, any solder drop onto the carpet, um, we don't want to damage the customer's property. Then taking our solder, um, there is no set gauge to pull out how far off of the, the reel. It's just how comfortable you are with soldering. Um, what I always do as well is we allow 50, with a 15 mil fitting, we allow 15 mil of solder for each joint. So just knowing how much solder you put in there, with two sides of the joint there, we'll need to bend over roughly about 30 mil. We're not going to get a tape measure out and measure it, about 30 millimeters, just so we can gauge how much solder has gone into the joint. Then adjusting our blowtorch. Selecting a nice gentle flame. Um, we don't put the flame directly into the, the mat. We don't want the heat going directly in that direction against the wall because it will damage the mat. We direct the flame from the bottom of the fitting. Be careful not to put the blowtorch directly under the fitting. We don't want flux and solder dropping down into the, into the blowtorch. But with the flame on the bottom of the fitting, and as we see the fitting is just starting to change colour there, adding the solder, making sure it's going all the way around the joint. Again, putting the, make sure the blowtorch should go down safely. We'll give it about 30 seconds just for the solder to set before we go wiping the joint. Um, it's just to allow for the solder to settle and then it doesn't fracture when we put a cold damp rag on there. And cool the fitting down. And what we will do is, just with steel wall, is just make sure that all the flux is gone. Then removing the heat mat, have a lovely joint. Oh.